Ooh, it's always uh, reassuring when your car comes with a disinfectant wipe. Okay, I've done. Well done. I've done my bit. I'm flying home in a bit. <laughs> I can't speak at the minute. Someone's warming up their machine. <laughs> Good morning and welcome back to the Auto Finesse HQ where today we're heading off on another of our little adventures. We just got the call from our team in the US and they're about to start their first ever big detail. They've called in some friends to help, but we're also gonna hop on a plane, head over there, and show you what they're working on. Let's go. It's always uh, reassuring when your car comes with a disinfectant wipe. Okay, we'll put that to good use. Oh man, it smells like toilet cleaner. <laughs> Need a fucking tornado to get that one going, wouldn't you? It's huge. So we've arrived here at Miltech Corp, home of Auto Finesse North America. The team are already inside assessing the vehicle. We're going to get in there and show you what we're going to be working with. Let's go. I'm on the sound hoodie season, back around no more. Summer bounce, little squeeze out, squeeze. Keep the indoors when we're falling down. Oversized jumper with the underwear out. Welcome back. I'm on the sound hoodie season, back around no more. Summer bounce, little squeeze out, squeeze. Keep the indoors when we're falling down. Oversized jumper with an underwear out Like they're bringing anything to the table Bro, I'm not your son, see I'm able I do my own bits Limited edition, no some missing classic shit I know that you So here it is, the subject for the next couple of days This Pontiac Trans Am WS6 This is a 2002 model, the last year they ever made this car So it's quite a special one Personally, I have no idea about these But the guys here are experts in this field and they're telling me this was a rather special car in its day. It was built for a very famous drag event, hence while in a moment you're going to see some of the additions that are on it. You can probably already tell by those wide rear arches that it's packing a little heat. We arrived a little bit late so the guys have already gone ahead and got it washed and deconned but here's how it looked when it first turned up. <laughs> And I've been thinking about it, everything getting so shrouded. And I've been thinking about it, everything getting so shrouded. I just been spitting my flows, I just been spitting my flows, I just been ripping these shows, ripping these. Get it, this shit that I know. Get rid of the oxidization, all the marks, make it look glossy and shiny. There. Good enhancement. Is there anything we want to take off before we start? Just taping up. We need to tape this up heavy. Um, nah, because then you're going to have even yeah, you're going to have even more dust inside. The other thing that I saw that I think we should just clear would be this rear light up the back. Um, that's dead. We'll just clean. We'll just clean it up with a bit of APC. Get rid of all this white polish or whatever. It, yeah, I'm sure light polish will get most of this out. Yeah, we'll just give it a little light sand, like a little 1500 or something, and then just clear it. That will freshen that right up. What's the plan, Big Sam? Um, gonna get Tim and Jeff. We can't here. stand too near each other because you make me look like a midget. No, no. You go one side of the car. I'll go the other. 
<laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. There you go. <laughs> Get this closed down, tape everything off. We're all good. Tape this off, tape these bits off. Actually, we don't actually have to tape any of that off. You've just got to run a bit of tape across there, a bit of tape around there, ready to rumble. Pads on polishers. Crank it up, get it done. I just been ripping these shows, ripping these did it, this shit that I know. Oh no, I can absolutely boss a bit of masking. <laughs> Crisp that, isn't it? Some of my finest work. I can't speak at the minute. Someone's warming up their machine. <laughs> Keep them bearings nice and lubricated. It's always warm it up. That'll be in a bit when someone burns through and we all run away. <laughs> no. My name is Jeff Campbell. My name is Tim Smith. My name's Sam, uh, and I'm the head detailer here at Auto Finesse USA. I've been detailing for about seven years, uh, doing it professionally now for about two to three years. And um, this is our first big detail here in the US. We have been chomping at the bit to get one of these done since we opened up Auto Finesse USA earlier in the year. We went on a pretty big hunt to find a car that qualified for what we thought would be a big restoration. Uh, and a friend of ours, Autry McVicker at BMP Tuning, called us up when he had found this in a storage unit and said he needed our help. We saw a couple pictures of it, uh, and right away we knew this was the one we had to do. So the big detail, I think one of the coolest parts of the big detail for me is the group effort. It's a collaboration, it's not a one-man thing. Uh, so we're, we're happy to have James here from Auto Finesse, but we knew right away when we set up the big detail that we wanted to collab with our friends at Knox Auto Spa. Jeff and Tim have been great friends of ours from the beginning, big supporters, um, putting the word out about Auto Finesse, putting our products to use. Uh, and so straight away I knew give them a call and get them on board. For me, I think it's the, the before and after. The car has been sat in a storage unit for almost 15 years and uh, to be able to see the, the layers of dirt and grime that were on there get cleaned off. To see what we've been able to pull out of that uh, has been incredible. I can't wait to see it when it's done, um, but it, it's, it's looking good. Right, so the lad's got the car taped up. As you can see, we've drafted in some extra help, some guys from here in Tennessee that actually help out, use our products at their own detail shop. They've come in because more hands helps get the job done quicker. We've inspected the paint. We've had a look what we're dealing with. It's actually not too bad under all of that. The guys have done a really good job of washing and decon in the car. We've had a look at the paintwork and most of it just looks to be oxidization um, and it's where some water and stuff's got under a cover that's been on there over time, just etched into the paint a little. So we're gonna go in with a heavy pad, heavy compound, cut through to the bottom of that and then we'll have a look at refining it down to a finer finish. So the first job we're gonna do, smash to the bottom of all that nastiness, reveal some nice fresh paint and then We'll get it looking super crisp. Let's go. Ready for the end. Mad as savage in me. Back and I'm back in it. Having it ready to blow. I remember doing keys with dirty from the street. It left me on my own. Monk can't ask me about how I got to be. I probably leave him on my own. Then they're ringing off my phone. Then they're ringing off my phone. Yeah. Time change, but mine's made up. I ain't here, but line pages. Try it then, don't like bait. Jobs are good. Okay, I've done, done. I've done my Take bit. Like I'm flying home in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hats going backwards, man means business. Man means no business, he's lost his little brush. Go without. This must be a daydream, Max got me the map plan. My team never lied on, you can visit from the facts man. He be riding on the way, I ain't got a lot to say. Mine's everything is better. I've managed to cut in pretty well with just a DA into these edges. We'll, we'll get it, but we've got to somehow, we've got to get here as well. Yeah, that's what I ended up doing right underneath the mirror, was just putting some on the towel. Yeah, it's right. working. I've got to do the other side of that T-bar. I want to tidy that up under there, and then the rear bumper. You know what you want? You want a rotary with a big pad. <laughs> Flick that bad boy in there, be done. I've got to do the rear bumper, man. They've left me the worst shit, honestly. Oh. This is gonna go bad. Ready 
for the job. Pain's ready, let me blaze. I've been detailing for about 17. Uh, paint correction and ceramic coating for the last seven. Uh, my favorite part is the satisfaction on the customer's faces when they pick up the cars. Um, seeing, seeing the happiness through the hard work that we put in is rewarding in the long run. We got reached out to by Sam and you guys and wanted us to come in and collaborate with you guys and we're not gonna turn that one down, so I had to come out and show some love with you guys. So what I'm gonna do, you can see these have been cleared over before. First I'm gonna clear all this, clean all this polish off rather. Um, from where it's been wet, flattened and polished at the body shop. I'm going to clean all that up. I think I might sand these down and re-clear them just so they look nice and fresh and they haven't got all this crazing and horribleness going on. And then we'll refit them. They should look like new. Are they Gucci bags? Hmm? Are they Gucci? What? Bags. The bags? Aren't, are they bad? Do I look tired? I feel quite tired. I think I've gone through a stage of being delirious during this job and now I'm coming out the other side, but the way you're looking at me, maybe I'm not out the other side yet. Every single screw on this car is different. It's sending me crazy. I found a screwdriver and I'm really happy. There's polish in there. <laughs> I think they've wet sanded this, but with everything still attached, and then just used any screws they can find. That is a shit. That's a self. It's a self tapper. <laughs> It feel like I'm floating, I'm lost in the moment, I swear I could levitate They never believed that I would really fly, I had to go demonstrate I had to set them straight They hate when you elevate, elevate, elevate They hate when you elevate, elevate, elevate They hate when you elevate, elevate, elevate They hate when you elevate Been detailing for right at 21 years now Basically uh specializing in mainly paint correction. So on this one, uh, Sam once again reached out to us. Um, I've known Sam for a couple of years. We follow each other on Facebook. He's always liked my work. Um, he came by the shop one day just to hang out and talk and one thing led to another and we ended up branching in to start this collaboration. Um, one of the most important things about it is developing a good, not only friendship with other detailing enthusiasts around the area, but to also provide the highest level of customer support that no one else can offer. Um, as far as it goes with this vehicle, my favorite part was definitely restoring the horribly oxidized spoiler and the rear fenders, uh, which were aftermarket. Um, on older cars, you have to be a little more specific with them. Um, obviously, this car was not factory paint. You have to be a little more careful with it. Yeah, some areas are going to be thinner. Some areas are going to be thicker on paint. You have to really have a, an accreditation for knowing how far you can go into a paint to restore it, and you have to know your limits. Sometimes you can push those limits. Other times you can't. But on this one, we pushed pretty good on it, and I think everyone's gonna really like the results from it. Good morning, so it is day two of the big detail here in the USA. We made massive progress yesterday. With these old barn finds, you never really know what you're gonna be doing until you start getting stuck into it. It's just the nature of the job. We got really lucky yesterday. Things went real smooth. It was quite nice that all the wet work and decon was done the day before by Sam and the guys there. We also had an extra set of hands yesterday and well, two extra sets of hands, which really made light work of all the cutting. Managed to get it cut, refined down, sorted out a few little details, like removed some reflectors and cleaned those up and bits and pieces like that. Today, we have got to do the interior, the engine bay. I wanna get some mint rims on those new wheels the guys have got for this car few finer details and I think if we push on and really crack on with it we could have this wrapped up by the end of today which is day three and that is quite an achievement for us we've never managed to do one of these in two days not with the filming and everything but three days is is good going especially for the first one over here so fingers crossed if this jet lag don't catch me around about halfway through the day because I have been up since 2 a.m we should be able to show you the finished results. 
it's all right. I'll triple it. <laughs> Deep sea diving. <laughs> Where is your vacayom? Wait, I'm having a mare here. I'm using this for the grubbier areas and the tote will fall over. So this vinyl is not overly dirty. It had a lot of dust sitting on it, but most of that come up with a brush and a vacuum. I've put the Verso over the top on this material here because that has got a lot more ingrained into it. So I want a little bit more bite there and I want a little bit more bite up here because I believe this car was never cleaned underneath there in the whole time this was built. Whereas that's had a little vacuum and a white round now and again. So that was really grubby. That's quite grubby. This wasn't so grubby, so I used a lighter product on that because you don't need to go too heavy on stuff that doesn't need it. And then we've used a heavier product here and here. We'll brush that all in, it'll foam up lovely. We'll clean it all down all at once together. We'll come up beautiful. Fowls are better, man. Yep. I hate stripes in carpets and stuff. It's just not me at all. Yeah, but the gram loves it. I don't care about the gram. I don't love it, so I'm not doing it. <laughs> That's why I hate them, because I'm rubbish at them. <laughs> we'll leave it flat. Now come on, I'm, I'm determined to get them now like a pro. So this is a spot a lot of people miss on cars when they do interiors, is seat belts. And you've got to remember, this is on your body, near your face, and they get kind of grubby. You touch them with your hands all the time. If somebody smokes in a car, a lot of that smell stays in this. If somebody's had aftershave or perfume on, that's why sometimes you'll get in someone else's car, put the seat belt in and think, that smells nice, or maybe it don't. And a lot of the time, that is sitting in the seat belts and roof linings because they're areas people, they don't forget about, well, they kind of do, they, they overlook. So I'm gonna show you a quick hack for how to clean a seat belt quite easily. Seat forward, in this case, it's bolted down the bottom here. If it's a five door car, you go about it slightly different. Just reel it out as far as you can. Now it's gonna be rare that you need to go quite this far. And you can see it's a bit of a different color up here than it is more along here. So I'll try and match that up nicely now. I'm gonna use Verso for this one. Cloth the other side to catch the overspray and literally. I'm gonna spray one side of the belt. You can already see, if I go over that with this cloth, that's what you're putting by your face every single time you get in a car. You don't clean the seat belts. So clean your seat belts. <laughs> That's just one side. Just seatbelt grind. I'm not even done yet with this one. Gross. Want to put that near your face? Yeah. That's what you're dealing with, boys. You ready? This is going to be the worst thing ever. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. I'm gonna need a bath after this one. Sure. I do want, I've passed the point of gloves. I've, I've really fucked up, to be honest with you. I should have put gloves on earlier, I haven't gone too deep. I'm just gonna wash my hands 10, 15, 20 times and deal with it. 
<laughs> now you're right. Sure, you don't want gloves. <laughs> Look at the wrist. 360 clean. Wow, roof linings. Nice. All right, hit me, update. So, today has been one of them days of little bits and pieces. Yesterday we broke the back on this. Today we've been spending our time doing the bits and bobs, just the finishing pieces that maybe we brushed over or just skipped over yesterday. Interior is done, I've gone ahead, clean that top to bottom, seats, carpets, everything else. We've had those nitrous bottles out as well, polished those up. Sam's done the engine bay, just the final bits of steaming around that and dressing. We were gonna clean up the rear brake discs, the bells, however, the guys managed to get a brand new set of brake discs, which made life a lot easier because they were looking rough. Got some new wheels to stick on the car. We need to put some wax on there, do some of the finer details like dressing trim and things like that clean the glass and then we should be ready for the finished results. Finger poking, yeah. <laughs> Go on, Put Sam. You you get down there and give that a bit of finger blasting. With everything else said and done, it is now time for us to put the icing on the cake. For this one, we've chose to go with our illusion show wax. Now, some people might be thinking, why don't you put a ceramic coating on it? It lasts longer. It will do this. It will do that. But believe it or not, wax looks best. It's a given fact, after you've machine polished a flat black car, nothing will add that extra little zing like a natural wax. This car's not gonna be a daily driver for anybody by any stretch of the imagination. So a wax will be perfect. It will probably live its life indoors, come out for shows or events, maybe even get sold to somebody else that will take it on the drag strip. Why does it look so good after one pass? It's the shit. It is the that shit. is the one. Illusion's like a super oily wax. So you have a way up with waxes. You can have solids content, which will give you durability. But in this day and age, if you're looking for durability, you'll probably either go for a synthetic or you'll go for a, a proper ceramic coat. This being an oily type wax, it means it's super, super shiny, and you just don't get this type of look from a ceramic or from a synthetic. This is only, it's the typical look of a wax. It's not the most durable. It is only gonna last a couple of months, but if you're into your cars, you like washing it, waxing it, spending a bit of time detailing it, Illusion is the absolute one. So just like that, our first ever big detail here in the USA is complete, and I'm really happy with the results. The team here have worked day and night tirelessly over the past three or four days to get this done. Now, it was no easy fate. The paintwork looked shocking. It really did help having the guys from Knox Auto Spa come in and lend a hand getting that big job done. We've gone top to bottom, inside out with this, from paint correction to interior to engine bay, and even fitted a brand new set of wheels from American Racing. All the stuff for us to do now is show you the finished results. To the floor, to the couch. Might wake the neighbors up. Break you in and break you out. In the end, we're going to make the chat. Then we're going to hit the show. Part two, we don't need no pause. You can't miss me. We're going to get tipsy. You need a power shot. Copy my steel. Face the fact that ain't no cap, I'm real.